Hello, we're Team Yushen and we're presenting AI BBA, a GPT-2 based limerick generator. I shall never eat food, worms or flies, because I know that my teeth won't arise. It's a wonderful treat and I pick up all their meat and I make myself squeamish, guys. Can you tell if that was AI or human? Poetry is a unique writing form which has the capability of deeply affecting its readers. With words and structures, poems are able to transform into timeless pieces of art, shaping human culture. Machine learning has made great strides in text generation in recent years. These tools are capable of generating more information than has been done in human history. This highlights the need for the ability to automatically and quantitatively evaluate these texts in order to measure the quality of generated outputs. With our project, we attempted to learn abstract ideas such as creativity in natural language generation through machine learning. We believe that if language models can generate literature that appeals to human sensations, then they can be used to better facilitate creativity in the art industry. It can also provide empirical insights into our understanding of measuring beauty. We explore unsupervised rhyming generation through GPT-2 architecture and developed novel techniques for quantitatively evaluating limericks generated based on their rhyming, co-reference, and correctness. GPT-2 and its predecessor, GPT, stand for Generative Pre-trained Transformer Models. They are the current state of the art and dominate text generation tasks. These were developed by OpenAI. Unlike previous research into NLP that used large and labeled datasets in supervised language modeling for task-specific problems, this model learns from unlabeled data for a wide variety of tasks. It can then be fine-tuned for specific tasks. The developments in GPT-2 from the original GPT model were in its scale. First, it uses the web text dataset, which is 40 gigabytes in text from over 8 million documents. It also increased the number of parameters in the model to 1.5 billion. To further improve the initialization of our model, we trained from a checkpoint from Branwyn Gwen. Gwen had trained a GPT-2 model using two large poetry corpuses, the Gutenberg Poetry Corpus and the Poetry Foundation Corpus. We found that this greatly improved our model's vocabulary and improved its poetic bias in generating poetic stanzas. Interested in GPT-2's ability to learn complex rhyming structures, we used a limerick dataset of 90,000 poems from the omnificient English dictionary in limerick form. Limericks are five lines with the AABBA rhyming structure, similar to the one seen here. We simply removed the punctuation and the case, as well as added end-of-line tokens to create a more uniform dataset. We observed that GPT-2 was sensitive to our training corpus, so adding pre-processing was necessary to improve control and consistency over the output. We developed three novel evaluation techniques, which we used for downsampling and ranking the unconstrained generated poems. A rhyming distance metric, using the CME pronouncing dictionary, calculated a normalized Levenstein distance between the final words of each line following the rhyming pattern of AABBA. A co-reference score was used to check the resolution of subject pronouns using the poem. This score supported the ranking of poems based on the weighted sum of the number of resolved and unresolved references. A correctness score checked for nonsense words within the poem. As GPT-2 is a character-based generative model, we sometimes observed nonsense words in the poems. We calculate the score based on the total number of real words over the total number of words in the poem. From an initial sample of 8,000 poems, we used these metrics described to downsample the best 1,000 poems, which we then tested on humans using a Turing test we developed as a web app and deployed on AWS. We received over 700 responses from people evaluating our poems. Users were asked to guess if a poem presented was written by an AI or human. Of the 260 incorrect responses, the AI tricked people 112 times, or approximately 15.5% of all responses. And 10 generated poems were able to trick people more than once. GPT-2 shows amazing results for learning complex rhymes like guys, flies, and arise. We were able to achieve these results because of our approach to sampling and filtering the dataset. By eliminating false positives in the training data, we could ensure better input transformations for our poetry generation task. We can expect greater consistency with supervised, discriminative fine-tuning. More improvements may come from reinforcement learning techniques like gradient policy updates. We thank you for listening and for watching. Although this is not an AI, you should give it a try. Find it at the link below by clicking.